Welcome back to KB's Kingdom, cooking with KB, and today I'm going to show you how I make my latest version of my meatloaf. <laughs> Nothing beats a good meatloaf on a Sunday afternoon. Alright, really simple to do, really easy, I've got a little bit different this time around. So, two small brown onions, I finally dice those up, and I'm going to add in around about 500 grams worth of turkey mince, and around about 400 grams worth of pork mince. That can all go straight in just like that. Really simple. Two carrots, which I have finely grated. Right, that can go straight in, and that's gonna add a beautiful sweetness and a little bit of extra moisture for our meatloaf. Right, so give that a bit of a stir through now, just uh, to get things happening, right? So uh, just use your spoon and just give that all a good mixy mixy. We're gonna get really serious in a minute, folks. Don't worry about that. All right, I'm gonna add in around about two teaspoons worth of garlic powder, and I'm gonna add in, look, you judge how much you want, but I'm putting in some thyme, some dried chives, some dried dill, some dried parsley, and dried oregano. Right, I'm putting all of that in, as well as a good dose of pepper. I'm going to use a mixture of white and black pepper. A good dose of salt, probably about a tablespoon's worth. Give all of that a good mix mix. Now, if you think that looks like a lot of salt, for pork it is not. Pork can really absorb a lot of salt and it needs it, right? So I'm going to add in one egg and for some reason lately we have been getting double yolk eggs i'm not going to complain because that yolk is the best bit give all of that a good stir through once again just using the spoon for now right just mix all of that through now here i've got three slices of fresh bread which i've put into a food processor and made into a nice fluffy crumb now you could use a panko you could use a just a normal dry bread crumb i'm really getting the vibe of using a fresh bread crumb lately it just seems to work really really nice it'll absorb all those flavors quite nicely and will help uh, get everything mixed together a good big handful of cheese right use the cheese of your choice i'm going to leave that up to you mix all of that through just like i'm doing right there really simple and if you haven't tried making your own meatloaf before, it's not that hard. If you can make a meatball, you can make a meatloaf. Right, so just keep stirring that through. All right, I've got the gloves on for a reason, and that's because I'm just going to get in and start mixing that real hardcore with my hands. Right, we're going to try and get a really good, even consistency with our ingredients. Right, make sure everything is combined nicely together. Now, Mrs. KP has already turned the oven on for me at 180 degrees Celsius. We've got a little loaf tin here, and we've just lined that with a bit of baking paper. Quick tip, get your baking paper and scrunch it all up, and then bring it back out. You can get it into the edges really nice and easily. All right, so we're just going to start spooning our mixture straight in. Don't have to go uh, two bananas and get it too close at the moment because we are going to massage this big time. Make sure we get no air bubbles. All right, so just spoon all of that straight into your loaf tin, just like that. And you can buy a loaf tin at your local supermarket for not a lot of dollars. Better still, go to Ikea. All right, so all of our mixture is in, and I'm just going to start pushing that mixture in using the end of my spoon, just like that. Just keep working it backwards and forwards and keep pushing out as much air as we possibly can, right? And there's two reasons why I do it this way. A, it's really quick, and B, we're going to uh, make sure we get all those ingredients, once again, really combined and get those flavors really happening. Use the back of the spoon to start smoothing out the uh, mixture that we've just made, just like I'm doing right there. Even give it a tap down on the bench every now and then to try and force those air bubbles up towards the surface. All right, so just keep uh, giving that a good mix through, just like that. Really simple. Right, 
And as you can see, we've got a little bit of bounciness happening with that meat. That means we've got a little bit of air happening. We want to try and get all of that out as we go. So just keep working that through. We're using the uh, back of the spoon, just like that. Now I'm going to top this off with my favorite barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm going to use a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's. It's just got the most beautiful flavor to it. And uh, the kids absolutely love this one. So just use the back of a, uh, a teaspoon there, just to make sure we get a nice even coating. And that's gonna actually soak down into the meat and give our meatloaf the most incredible flavor. All right, so we're just gonna uh, keep mixing that through or sp spreading that out. And uh, we're getting really close. We're gonna cover that with a little bit of foil. And I'm gonna cook that off for around about 45 to 50 minutes. Now I am going to probe that with a thermometer and make sure I've got a temperature of around about that sort of 70 degree mark. Okay, so once we've uh, got a nice uh, temperature around about 70 to 74 degrees, we know we're done. We can actually uh, take that out. I'm probably going to throw that back in the oven for about another five minutes to give it a little bit more color, as you can see, just like that. You can pick that meatloaf out just in one go, grabbing the paper, pulling it out, and there you go, you've got KP's amazing new style meatloaf. Slice it up once you cool down a little bit, serve it up with a little bit of potato and sour cream, bit of gravy over the top of the meatloaf, and there you go, you've got a really easy dinner. And the leftovers are great on a sandwich, in a uh, quesadilla, whatever you want. <laughs> the sort of dish that will last you at least two to three days thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it and if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence to make you feel warm and fuzzy too don't forget to hit that notification bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up hey share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media we are trying to get known kp's kingdom out there don't forget to uh, leave a comment i love reading and i love responding to them and in the meantime uh, if you want to learn how to make something that costs not a lot of bucks, but will feed the family for at least a couple of nights, where you need to come and join the family, my family, hit that subscribe button, and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. Off to eat my uh, new version of my meatloaf, and I will catch you next time. Bye.